we have heard of incidents of YouTubers or some Africans getting to Hong Kong and getting deported at the airport. I'm going to be addressing that in this video. Well, first of all, you know this is something that always happens in highly developed countries. I mean, Hong Kong is a very developed place. Like the systems, everything here is like really super efficient. So probably in some way they might feel like, okay, you're coming from Africa, you probably want to, you know, overstay or come here, stay here. And I think that's what I think because that's what normally happens for most of the developed countries when you go there uh they always feel like you are going to stay but now let's get into what happens one thing hong kong is visa free like you don't pay anything for kenyans and also a good number of countries in africa especially those that were british colonies this country was being run by the british until 1997 when they signed some 50-year contract and after 50 years uh it's going to go back to china so if you want to visit before because maybe uh after that we might not be able to come visa free like it's visa free on arrival like there's no visa they don't even stamp your passport like they just put the details and you know so if you want to visit maybe you can visit because if it gets to the point whereby maybe they hand it over to china you might need to get a visa and as you know like i'm in hong kong which is an autonomous or semi-autonomous unit of china but for me to get to china i will need a visa so that would mean i have to go back to kenya and apply so i'm glad i got the opportunity to visit here but before we get into that first why do people get deported when they arrive in hong kong i'm going to share my experience personally my experience was smooth to be honest okay automatically when you arrive you present your passport this is an african passport they don't even question you anything that officer the first officer you meet they take a form from the side it's like extra security or extra words like they just they don't even ask you anything they write something on the form and then they hand it over to an officer who's behind so there's this place where you go you sit and the officer will be asking you question after question so it's very important that you know what to answer be certain be confident unlike some of the countries that i visited before and you're like oh what are you here for you say tourism that's not a sufficient answer here so first let me list uh things that you'll need to have one have a verifiable return ticket with no return ticket there's no way you're going in fact even the airline that you'll be boarding will not allow will not bring you to hong kong without a verifiable plane ticket so once you have your ticket once you arrive here you give them your ticket they'll go they'll have to confirm your ticket and then that's the first thing you do the next thing you must have an itinerary you just can't come here and say like oh I'm just coming for tourism where like you know you have an itinerary okay i'm going to victoria peak i'm going to discovery island i'm going like you know have an itinerary of the places and the things you want to see but if you don't have a list of the things you're planning to do here there's no way there's no way you are going to be allowed into the country third finances okay this one was made me a little bit uncomfortable but it's okay so i had to log in into my mobile banking and then they had to check like how much money you have and all that so i don't know the required amount the minimum account you should uh, the minimum amount you should have but simply it simply means i had enough so that's why they uh, allowed me into the country but they didn't say i don't know what's the minimum amount you should have and for what uh, duration next you must have a confirmed hotel booking like where you're going to stay be it airbnb or whatever you must have a confirmed booking because trust me once you present that i think they take those documents and all the information they go make the calls and they verify that you've actually booked and paid for that place for that duration of time so have a verifiable or have um already done hotel booking like that is a must you know hong kong is very expensive i'm telling you 
here is one of the countries where I've spent most of the money because just a simple cup of coffee can be like $10. A simple meal, not even in a top restaurant and all that, would be about $10 or even more. So you have to $15. So you find that per day you're spending probably a hundred US dollars or more. So you must just be very well prepared with that. And I think that's why they're very strict in terms of finances. Another thing I've always shared uh, about my immigration experiences before we go into the next one. So I, I must say like this was really quite professional for me. I mean, I've always shared my immigration experiences traveling as an African with an African passport. But of course, Hong Kong, there's all these questions and all that. What I like, it didn't take long and they were quite professional. It's actually one person. So one person was just the one who was questioning me. I answered the questions and you know all that and then they they were good with it and then they referred me back and get to get stamped and get into the country so i say this because i mean i've been to other places or other countries the moment you land or even before you get to the immigration you're surrounded by like six or seven officers this one asking you this this other one asking you that and it's like wait am i a criminal so this one i didn't feel like really as bad i mean i wish i had a passport that i don't a passport that i don't have to go through all this just present stamp and i'm out but i i, I appreciate the way like the officer was professional anyway let's continue another thing and i don't remember everything but for now let me state the ones i remember if i remember something else i'm going to add it uh before you know before we finish this video and i'm also rushing somewhere right now you can see i'm already at the airport anyway so another thing is they will ask you about where you are from where you've been traveling your experience so one question i came from laos to hong kong one question that he asked me and i was initially i was like really why are you coming from i was like i was like oh i was in laos oh so you're coming from laos so is laos in africa then i just came to realize they just trying to see you know like they'll ask you some obvious questions that seem like is this person like you know is he not smart or smart enough and all that but they are actually trying to measure you and in Kiswahili we would say in Swahili we would say wana kupima like they're measuring you <laughs> like just they trying you so well that's something to note I'm going to continue with uh, more of this let me rush I need to catch my flight and then we'll talk more about it in before this video ends you're going to share all the information and in case you have any questions about uh, coming to Hong Kong don't forget to ask below so well i just think i exhausted all the things that you need to have when you're getting into hong kong lack of this will surely lead you into deportation however a few other things that i would love to add is your attitude and how you carry yourself first you are not going to go there looking like a thug or looking like you know so suspicious and all that you mean i mean you have to be just very presentable once you're presentable there's no suspicions on you but if you look suspicious you're going to probably go through extra 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 stuff like that and then um also if you have like personally i have three passports so it can also help you know to just present other passports to show that that you've traveled and of course when you do that they're going to probably pick a random country and ask you when were you here and what were you doing here and all that so that is also very important you also have to tell them what job you do and show evidence of your work and all that so it's not so hard if you are a straightforward person and you know exactly what you're doing but it can be very challenging and tough in case where in Kiswahili we say in case when you talk on a corner in case you know a very straightforward person that can also present a challenge in allowing you uh, to get into Hong Kong generally I must say that Hong Kong is a very very beautiful place I absolutely love it um I truly have to say from my personal experience 
it is the best place or the best country i have visited i mean everyone can have their own opinion and all that but for me i really love to see efficiency and systems working and all that planning my day because i know i have reliable transportation system like that's very important to me i'm not going to get stuck in traffic like if the bus is i'm going to they're going to arrive in three minutes it will arrive in three minutes if it's supposed to get in this destination at this time immediately if it's leaving at five five or one five or two you are missing it like i really love that because it enables me to be efficient and also the fact that i spent a lot of time in the island oh my goodness that's paradise like i will forever dream for that experience again but i mean i can always go back to hong kong so thank you so much for watching this episode i hope you truly enjoyed it and you learned something new and i hope it was also beneficial but just in case you have extra questions that you'd love me to address to help you who wants to visit hong kong well don't forget to ask them in the comment section below thank you bye bye make sure you share this video because you know what sharing is caring and you never know who this video might help so go ahead and let's do this bye